Hi there, I'm Curtis Ackeson. I'm the CFO of Sojourn and I'm not from Omaha. I am living in San Francisco and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how we've scaled our company uh, outside of Silicon Valley and, uh, and, in, uh, and in Omaha. We were once a startup, but now we're a fast growing profitable company making an impact in the travel industry. We're part of the Deloitte's Fast 500, five years running. Uh, we're also what you call a fast 50 company, which means you take our uh, growth rate and you add to it our EBITDA margin, and uh, if you're above 50%, you're in the club. So that's, uh, that's a little bit about the stage of company that, that we're at. Uh, what, what we do, uh, we drive bookings for hotels, airlines, car rental companies, uh, cruise companies, and also we work with tourism boards and uh, convention visitor bureaus. And what we do simply is we put, and maybe crassly, we put heads in beds and butts in seats and tourists in town. That's what we do. And we do this through utilizing uh, data. Uh, we have access to uh, a lot of anonymized traveler data, and we use that to target uh, potential travelers and travelers wherever they are on that uh, path to purchase online. Uh, from dream to destination, we're able to get in touch with them and influence them to book travel uh, with one of our customers. And to do that, uh, we work behind the scenes and we get them to book on our uh, travel uh, customers' own website. So that's, that's a little bit about what we're doing. Um, by the numbers, we've generated 13 billion in travel bookings for our customers. Uh, and we have about 6,000 clients, 400 employees. We have uh, a bunch of offices around the world in places where you see a lot of advertising companies in expensive cities. Uh, like I said, we're headquartered in San Francisco, but I'm here to talk about uh, my favorite office as the CFO, our office in Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> Good. Uh, so. The first, the first two items, why I love Nebraska, why I love Omaha, and why I, lo why I love that office. The first two are no-brainers for a CFO. We've heard it. Rents are cheaper, and so are salaries. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty uh, good equation there. But if you are thinking about scaling a company outside of Silicon Valley, one of the worries you might have is, how do I find the people with the right skills and the right quantities of people? And I wanted to give you the blueprint of how we have uh, solve this equation at, at Sojourn. We, uh, we, we hire a lot of entry-level, smart, very smart employees directly out of uh, college. We work very closely with the universities. We work with different clubs on campus. Uh, and we're hiring people into our entry-level jobs, which would be something like a campaign coordinator, uh, uh, and, and we have a, a number of very structured um, uh, opportunities to get promoted within that. And we do invest heavily in training. And so uh, people come in and they get introduced to travel. They get inter introduced to advertising technology. They have the quantitative skills that we need. Uh, and people advance uh, quickly through this process. And I can tell you after... You know, pe people are, this isn't, you know, babysitting, people are working, and we're getting the job we need done at an effective cost, and I can tell you, after 18 months, the account managers that we have in Omaha are better than the account managers we can hire with experience uh, in New York and San Francisco. It's really amazing, and it's a huge asset to our company, and I'll tell you what, all of these, uh, the folks we have almost, uh, we're rounding up to 200 people in Omaha, we're, we, they get exported. Um, we, we export all that talent to our other offices uh, around the world. And it's, uh, it's really a, a virtuous cycle and something we're really excited about. Oh, I forgot, dang, I forgot to mention the, the, the last reason I was uh, excited about Omaha. Uh, CFOs were a selfish bunch. Uh, th there's a direct flight uh, to Omaha from San Francisco. I noticed it was a little bit, uh, not that many people on the plane. I want to make sure it doesn't go away. So by all means, everyone, scale your company in Omaha. Keep that flight around for me. Uh, in, in, uh, so in uh, 2017, we were, we, were, we were sitting around uh, with our 
we just gotten our budget approved. Uh, we had to grow another 40%. Where we had to figure out where we would be putting uh, the next 100 people. And we did a very simple equation. We looked at average uh, salary per head, and we looked at average cost uh, of rent per head. Those two numbers, we looked at globally. We were shocked by the numbers at what an asset uh, Omaha was. We, and, and we've continued to invest more in there. We've used this same equation wherever we go across the globe. Uh, it works really well. And one of the, um, the, the, the things about, um, excuse me, one of the things about this equation well, actually, I'm running out of time, so let me, anyway, that's our equation. Uh, <laughs> those are the numbers. They're pretty compelling. Uh, and, and what I want to say is, um, you know, we have people from people operations, finance, accounting, uh, uh, sales, inside sales teams. As a three-time venture-backed CFO, I got to think every Series A, every Series B company out there has got, that's in the Bay Area should have a plan for scaling its company outside of Silicon Valley, outside of the Bay Area. It just makes a ton of sense. And when you combine it with, um, if you can combine that with good relationships with the universities, intensive training, and I forgot promoting from within is very important. Our glass door ratings are off the charts. Our attrition ratio is super low. That's the attrition rate for the whole company. Uh, it's just a great combination. And finally, uh, don't forget, um, there's a direct flight to Omaha. Thank you. Thank you.